Deped Radio. 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 Deped Radio's always here for you to give you lessons on air for vital information and quality education wherever you are, whatever you do. This is Deped Radio Lesson on Air. Deped Radio Lesson on Air. Deped Radio made possible by Deped Radio Philippines. Member KDP Kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas and Department of Education. Sulong at kapalidad. In pursuit of continuous quality education, living up to Deped's mandate of no student should be left behind. From the home of Sarong Bangui, the land of Oragons, this is Santo Domingo National High School. School on Air. School on Air. Hello, my dear students of grade 10. You are currently listening to School on Air in Science. I am your radio teacher, Teacher Anita, and I am so happy to be with you today. I am so excited to be back here with you on the radio and impart with you our lessons and exciting learnings in Science on Air. At this point, I hope that you are seated comfortably as you listen to our broadcast. Make sure that you have with you pen, paper, to write down some of the important notes and concepts that we will discuss. Students, are you now ready for our lesson? I have a special request for you for this episode. Before we start... I want you to get a mirror or stay near a mirror inside your house. Our topic will be focused on this interesting piece of glass. I will give you a minute to prepare all the materials that you will be needing for today's session and to attend for your personal necessities before we start. one of all. I know this famous line reminds you of the movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which featured a mystical mirror. For this episode, you will be exploring activities that will help you understand the reflection of light in a plain mirror. We are expecting that after our lesson, you will be able to describe the image formed by plain mirrors and compare the actual height with and distance from the mirror to the object with that of the image formed by the plane mirror. Let's begin! A mirror is a fascinating piece of glass that we use on a daily basis. We always look at it to see how presentable we are, and sometimes we wonder how the image was created. Plain mirrors are almost everywhere. It is typically made of glass with a gleaming metal backing that reflects all the light that hits it. When a mirror reflects light, an image is formed. An image is a reflection created copy of an object. There are actually different types of mirrors. 
We have plane and curve or spherical mirrors. But for today's lesson, we will focus on plane mirrors. Let us begin our lesson with a simple activity entitled Mirror Mirror on the Wall. Listen carefully to my instructions and write down your observations and answers in a clean piece of paper. This will be submitted to me on Thursday during the distribution of modules. Get your pen and paper and of course your magical mirror to be ready for the activity. Are you ready for the activity? Listen carefully and focus on the instruction to answer the guide questions. It will be given later. 10 seconds will be given for you to answer each question. First, stand in, a fr in front of a plane mirror. Then answer the following questions. Question number one. What did you see when you look at the mirror? Again, for question number one. What did you see when you look at the mirror? Question number two. Is your image exactly the same in size as you are? I repeat for question number two. Is your image exactly the same in size as you are? Question number three. Raise your right hand. What does your image raise as? Again, for question number three, raise your right hand. What hand does your image raise as? For question number four, is your image upright or inverted? Again, is your image upright or inverted? <music> Lastly, for question number five, move two steps away from the mirror. What happened to your image? How would you describe your distance to the mirror and your image distance from the mirror. I'll repeat for question number five. Move two steps from the mirror. What happened to your image? How would you describe your distance to the mirror and your image distance from the mirror? Okay, let us discuss your answers to the given activity. For question number one, what did you see when you look at the mirror? Okay, upon looking at the mirror, you will be able to see your own image because of the mirror's reflective surface. Light coming from you hits the mirror and reflects back forming an image. This image seems to be formed behind the mirror. And it is called a virtual image. For question number two, we have, is your image exactly the same in size as you are? What's your answer? Correct. Your image is of the same size as you are. Plain mirrors produces an image that is exactly as the same size, height, or width of the object. For question number three, raise your right hand. What hand does your image raise? Okay, upon raising your right hand, your, your image will raise its left hand. The image formed in the mirror is laterally inverted, or this is what we call the left right reversal, meaning your right hand seems to be the left hand of the image, and your left seems to be the right, uh, right hand of the image from the mirror. Mm -hmm. 
For question number four, you are asked to identify whether your image is upright or inverted. Okay, so your image is upright. Image form in the plain mirror will always be upright. Let's proceed to question number five. You are asked to move two steps away from the mirror. What happened to your image? How would you describe your distance to the mirror and your image distance from the mirror? When you move two steps from the mirror, your image will also move two. Will move away too. Your distance from the mirror is equal or the same to the object's distance from the mirror. Were you able to get were you able to get the correct answers? Write your score on the right side of the paper and don't forget to submit them to me on Thursday. A mirror is a flat is a flat and smooth reflecting surface and it is called a plane mirror. It is usually made up of highly reflective and polished surface like silver or aluminum. When light rays bounces off from the object to this reflecting surface, it bounces back reaching to the viewer's eyes, causing us to see the reflected image of the mirror object. When we look at the mirror or any polished metal or a steel pool of water, we can see our image because these objects are image reflecting objects. Image formation in plane mirrors follow the law of reflection, stating that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Incident ray refers to the ray of light in coming to the mirror, while reflected ray is the ray of light that bounces off away from the mirror. Image form by plane mirrors have several properties and characteristics. These are observed from the activity that we have performed earlier. Let's get to know each property one by one. First, the image form is virtual. There are actually two types of image form in mirrors, real and virtual images. Real images are formed in front of the mirror and they can be projected on a screen. While virtual images are image formed behind the mirror. In plain mirrors, as observed from the activity, image is located behind the mirror. Thus, it is a virtual image. Second property is the size of the image. For the size of the image in the plain mirror, it is the same as the size of the object. Image formed in plane mirrors will always be of the same size, height, and width as the object. Third characteristic of the image formed in plane mirror is the lateral inversion, also known as the left-right reversal. The left side of the object appears as the right side of the image, and the right side appears as the left. This also explains why the word ambulance in an ambulance car is reversed. Next, image form in plain mirrors will always be upright. Positions or orientations of images formed in mirrors can be upright or inverted. But for plain mirror, our image form will always be in upright position. And lastly, the distance between the image and the mirror is the same as the distance between the object from the mirror. So, if you are standing one meter from the mirror, your image will also be located one meter behind the mirror, making you and your image two meters apart. Let's summarize our learnings for today. When light hits a smooth surface, light is reflected, and an image is formed. 
An image is a copy of an object formed by reflection. Reflection is the bouncing off of lights when it hits a surface like a plain mirror. It always follows the law of reflection. Image formed by plain mirrors will always be virtual, upright, and laterally inverted. The size, height, and width of the image is the same as the object. And lastly, the distance between the image and the mirror is equal to the distance between the object from the mirror. At this point, we are done with our lesson. Let us check your understanding about the reflection of light in plain mirrors. Please get a clean sheet of paper and ball pen and be ready for the quiz. Kindly write your name, grade, and section and date today. Listen carefully to the instructions and questions. Don't worry, I know you can do this. For the first part of the quiz, I want you to listen carefully as I read the questions and write down the letter of the best answer on your answer sheet. 10 seconds is allotted for you to answer each question. Let's begin! Question number 1. What kind of image is formed by a plain mirror? A. Real image B. Virtual image C. Multiple image D. None of this I repeat for question number 1. What kind of image is formed by plain mirror? A. Real image B. Virtual image C. Multiple image D. None of this For question number 2 What happens when light strikes a smooth surface? A. The light is polarized B. The light is reflected C. The light is refracted Letter D. The light is bent around corners Again, for question number 2 what happens when light strikes a smooth surface? A. The light is polarized. B. The light is reflected. C. The light is refracted. Or D. The light is bent around corners. For question number three. Which of this is not a property of an image formed by plain mirror? A. The image is upright. B. The image obtained is virtual. C. The image is laterally inverted. D. The size of the image is smaller than the size of the object. Again, for question number 3, which of this is not the property of an image formed by a plain mirror. A. The image is upright. B. The image obtained is virtual. C. The image is laterally inverted. D. The size of the image is smaller than the size of the object. For question number 4, what law states that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection? A. Charles' law B. Law of inertia C. Law of acceleration D. Law of reflection I'll repeat for question number 4, what law states that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection? A. Charles' law B. Law of inertia C. Law of acceleration D. Law of reflection For question number 5 If you stand 2 meters in front of a plane mirror how would, your, how would your image be away from you? Or how far would your image be away from you? A. 2 meters 
B. 3 meters four, C. 4 meters D. 1 meter Let me repeat question number 5 If you stand 2 meters in front of a plain mirror How far would your image be away from you? A. 2 meters B. 3 meters C. 4 meters D. 1 meter For the second part of the quiz, I want you to explain the word ambulance. I want you to explain why the word ambulance is written in reverse manner in front of an ambulance car. You can explain your answer using the properties of image form in plain mirror. I'll give you one minute to finish your answer. Your time starts now. up? Let's check whether you've got the correct answer. For question number one, what kind of image is formed by a plain mirror? A. Real image. B. Virtual image. C. Multiple image. D. None of this. The correct answer is letter B. Virtual image. Question number two. What happens when light strikes a smooth surface? A. The light is polarized. B. The light is reflected. C. The light is refracted. Or letter D. The light is bent around corners. So the answer for number two is... Letter B. The light is reflected. Number three... Which of this is not the property of an image formed by plain mirror? A. The image is upright. B. The image obtained is virtual. C. The image is laterally inverted. Or letter D. The size of the image is smaller than the size of the object. What's your answer? Okay, the answer is letter D. The size of the image is smaller than the size of the object. For question number four, what law states that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection? A. Charles' law. B. Law of inertia. C. Law of acceleration. D. Law of reflection. The answer for number four is letter D. Law of Reflection Question number 5 If you stand 2 meters in front of a plain mirror, how far would your image be away from you? A. 2 meters B. 3 meters C. 4 meters D. 1 meter What's your answer for question number 5? It is letter C. 4 meters for the second part of the quiz, I ask you to um, explain why the word ambulance is written in reverse manner in front of an ambulance car. 
the word ambulance is written in reverse in reverse in front of an ambulance so that the driver of the car ahead the ambulance can see and read the word correctly from his rear view mirror this image will be seen by the driver from his mirror in reverse in such a way that the word ambulance should be this way the driver blocking the ambulance can quickly identify the vehicle and swiftly respond by giving way to the ambulance. Three points will be given to correct answer. Count your score and write it on the upper right corner of your answer sheet. How's your score? I know you did a good job. Congratulations! We are done with our lesson for today. Don't forget to completely submit your outputs on Thursday. If you have further question, you can message or chat me in Messenger. For those who are listening live right now, I want you to picture your uh, to take a picture of your answer sheet and send it to me on Messenger. Another day of learning with you, my dear students, has ended. I hope that you have learned a lot today. Until next time, this is your radio teacher, Teacher Anita, saying, Always keep learning new things because learning is never ending. Goodbye! Not